Here we want to find all the values of x for which this rational expression is what we call undefined. Now, now what does that even mean? Well, typically things are undefined if you have like division by zero, most notably, which happens quite frequently when you have a rational expression because it has a denominator. So what you have to look out for with these rational expressions is where is this guy equal to zero? Because those are actually going to be bad places. Those are not good places. We, we don't want x to be a certain number that would make this be zero. So if you're looking for the undefined values of a rational expression, here's what you're going to do. You're just going to take the denominator. We'll take x minus 3. We'll set it equal to zero, and then we'll solve it. So in this case, x would equal 3. So that would be your solution to this um, given exercise here. This is the value of x for which the rational expression is undefined because if you plugged in 3 for x, you would get division by 0 and the expression would be, well, undefined of course. All right now, it's possible that you could actually have more than one x that can make your expression undefined. Let, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, here's another example. x plus 4 divided by x squared minus 4x minus 5. All right, so for this one, we could actually look at factoring that denominator. So we'll have, um, let's see, x, let's see, it'd be an x minus 5 and an x plus 1. All right, something like this. So now we have two factors in the denominator, and that's totally fine. We're going to set each of them equal to zero. So we'd have x minus 5 equal to zero. That would give us x equals 5. And then we'd have x plus 1 equal to zero. And that would give us x equals negative 1. So here we actually had two values that made the rational expression undefined. Now, last thing I want to talk about before we end this video is um, what about the numerator? What, what about him? Should we set him equal to zero? You know, what if you took x plus four, set that equal to zero and got x equals negative four? Is that is that something we should consider or throw in the mix or whatever? Uh, actually, it's not. This is not one that we would want to include because if you plugged in negative four, you would get you would get zero in the numerator but zero divided by something is totally fine. That's zero. Zero is not undefined. Zero is a, a number. It's you're just not allowed to divide by zero. So that's why we only set the denominator equal to zero and not the numerator. So anyways, that's how we find where a rational expression is undefined.